Honorable members, I have two communications, so we are going back to order number two. Honorable members, I have a communication. Honorable members, the National Government Administration Laws Amendment Bill and National Bill Number 73 of 2023 was read a first time yesterday, Wednesday, 6 September 2023, during the morning sitting. Members will note that the bill seeks to amend the following four statutes. One, the, assumptions, the Assumption of Office of the President Act 2012. Two, the National Security Council Act 20, of 2012. Three, the Office of the Attorney General Act of 2012. And four, the National Government Coordination Act of 2023. Honorable members, I note that determining the appropriate committee of the House to which the bill will be referred requires careful examination of the purpose of the bill, the purpose that the bill seeks to accomplish. From a reading of the memorandum and objects of the reasons of the bill, the proposals in the bill seek to, one, include the secretary to the National Security Council and the principal secretary responsible for defense as members of the Assumption of Office President Committee and increase the nominees of the president-elect within the committee from three to six members. Two, it seeks to introduce an, the National Security Advisor as the Secretary to the National Security Council and establishing a National Security Council Committee. Three, replace the Attorney General as the custodian of the public seal with the head of, with the head of public service. And four, establish and delineate the functions of the head of public service and the offices of the Chief Administrative Secretary. Honorable members, a majority of the amendments in the bill relate to the administration of government. However, the changes that the bill ultimately seeks to achieve relate to significant constitutional and legal matters. In seeking to alter the role of the government bodies and officials, the bill affects the independence of the bodies and existing checks and balances within government. Any change proposed to the functions, and functions of entities such as the assumption of office of the present committee the National Security Council and the Office of the Attorney General may infringe upon their constitutional and statutory mandates. Honorable members, as you are aware of the ongoing litigation on the constitutionality of the Office of the Chief Administrative Secretaries, whereas Parliament may consider a proposal to establish the position of Chief Administrative Secretary, knowledge of the pending court matter must inform any such consideration. In my considered view, it is imperative for the committee of the House charged with overseeing constitutional affairs to thoroughly scrutinize the proposed amendments in the bill and ensure that they are in consonance with the Constitution and the written law. In this regard, honorable members, and pass you on to the provisions of Standing Order 1271, I therefore refer the National Government Administration Laws Amendment Bill 2023 to the Departmental Committee on Justice and Legal Affairs. The committee is encouraged to facilitate public participation on the bill in the usual manner during the recess period that is about to commence. Honorable members, where necessary, the committee may sit jointly with the Departmental Committee on Administration and Internal Security to address specific matters in the bill that require the input of the counterpart committee. In its consideration of the bill, the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee should lend particular weight to the underlying legal issues in the proposals made by the bill. The House is accordingly guided. Thank you. Honorable members, before I go to the next communication, I'll give you an opportunity to sit for those who have an upstanding. Honorable members, be, take your nearest seat.
Honorable members and on to my second communication. Honorable members, as notified in today's order paper, at the rise of this sitting, the House is scheduled to proceed on its long recess from tomorrow, Friday 8th, December 2023 to Monday 12th, February 2024 in accordance with the approved calendar of the House for the second session. This marks the conclusion of regular sittings of the second session of the 13th Parliament and the beginning of a well-deserved break. Honorable members, during this season, the House has transacted various key businesses, including considerations and approval of public finance-related motions, consideration and passage of bills, some of them culminating in landmark legislations with far-reaching implications in the education, health, housing, labor, and social welfare se sector, among others and effectively turning around the economy. The House also considered treaties, sessional papers, approval of appointment to state offices, and under, also undertook various inquiries. The House also undertook its oversight role through questions to cabinet secretaries, which, constitute, which continue to elicit great interest, not just in the House, but from the public at large. A more comprehensive report on the activities of the House will be made available in due course. Honorable members, as an established practice and further recalling the resolution of the House on the calendar for regular sittings on 15th February 2023, committee sittings will stand suspended from 18th December 2023 to 28th January 2024. In this regard, honorable members, all committees are required to suspend their sittings on the stated dates in order to allow members to attend their constituency duties and parliamentary staff to take their annual leave. Any committee activities that may need to be conducted during the said period ought to obtain express permission from my office upon requ written request. Honorable members, to safeguard business with the statutory timelines from last lapsing, the counting of the days for such businesses shall cease and resume when the House returns on the third session on 13th February 2024. I hasten to remind members that should need arise for the House to transact any urgent business, the House will become will be recalled pass you on to Standing Order 29. Honorable members, I wish to thank the leadership of the House, members of this House, and staff for their diligence and commitment exhibited, which enabled the House to transact the business both in plenary and in committee sessions throughout. Specifically, I wish to commend members for their active participation, which has seen considerable consideration and conclusion of key priority businesses by the House. In conclusion, honorable members, as you proceed to spend this well-deserved break with your families and constituents during the long holiday season, I take this early opportunity to wish you all a happy festive season and a prosperous new year 2024. Thank you. Order number three, messages. Order number four, petitions.